Hello! I am Julie Joy of the Young Lightworkers and I have a message today from Judas Iscariot as channeled by Ann Dahlberg on January 29th, 2018. He says, I am Judas Iscariot and I hope and believe that humanity now will take care of each other. We approach a time when we all need to take care of each other. This concerns primarily those that have not woken up yet and understand that something is coming down on this earth. They, if anybody, will need a helping hand to understand that. What is happening in their world is the best that can happen to earth and to themselves. What comes out in the media needs to be clear and full of hope. Even if sad things can be disclosed, it is good to point out that a new and better world stands ready to be built up so that people will be able to live in peace with each other and that earth and you yourselves will regain your health. In order to avoid chaos, strategies are needed so that the new can be built up without too much disturbance from people who are panic-stricken when they see that things are not as they used to be. Slowly and steadily, a new system can be built up that benefits all, and then the rest of humanity can wake up and enjoy life on Earth, which is getting lighter and brighter each day. The strong energies are influencing your inner workings now, and it turns your beliefs upside down. There is nobody today who is not influenced by the energy on earth. It stirs things around in all your hearts and everybody's consciousness on earth so that the earth has a tailwind in its transformation. And you who have woken up also have a tailwind and that yet more have woken up and that yet many more are on the way. You have done it, dear children on earth. You have done it and nothing can stop your momentum now. All the visions that you have and everything that you start up will run by itself. You have a tailwind since earth is already in the light and no darkness can ever reach her again. You battle on the surface, but now even the surface is mostly in the light. There is not much darkness that remains, so cleanse your minds and hearts so that you can see the light more clearly. It shines with all its power up on you now so that you will take the step into the light dimension that you came down to do. It is, of course, a choice of free will, but most of you have chosen to ascend up into the light and help humanity to ascend as a collective. As mentioned, the time is now and all the forces around you impact you in this direction. You are whispered to, nudged and encouraged to go in the direction that earth now is going. It is a rare time on earth with many changes that are happening. They happen daily. They can be small or large, but all together they form a unit. Some of you can see this, others not. But nevertheless, it is true. It will become an eventful year for you earthlings, something to look forward to. There are many who will roll out their visions this year and some have already started. The change in some countries is already large and these can affect other countries. It might become a domino effect, so to speak. Be in your heart, dear children on earth, and follow that which is being said now. In spite of the fact it might sound a little strange in your three-dimensional ears. It might be that you are to bring your piece of puzzle to the world. You all carry pieces of the puzzle which are needed now when your new world will emerge into the light. You carry it in your hearts as you are all a part of the large puzzle or the new matrix if you would rather call it that. 
So step forward now, dear children on earth, and take your place in the light. You are well worth all the love and all the light that you can receive. We are here and support you. You have many all around you. And there are many who now walk in the midst of you on earth. We love you all so much. Signed, Judas. Once again, this was channeled by Ann Dahlberg, the translator from Swedish to English as Petta Staffan. This was presented on his website, the Sananda.website. My name is Julie Joy of the Young Light Workers, and it was my pleasure to bring you this astounding, positive, enlightening, wonderful message.